Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will go over a five minute fair value gap entry model strategy that you can trade during the New York session on most pairs. So let's begin by showcasing how well it performed in January. So this is the performance analytics of the strategy that I'm going to show you during January 2023. As we can see, we've taken a total of 12 trades and we had five winning trades and seven losing trades. Overall, in terms of PL, we were up 14.74%. Because it's only one month and this month in particular, it worked really well. I wouldn't say that getting 14% a month is very accurate, but going forward, we'll see how this strategy performs in the coming months we also have a win rate of 41.67 percent looking further we have all of these different stats here so pause the screen and you can have a look at these and as we can see this back test scored 80 percent which is two percent higher than the average on this platform if you're wondering what platform i'm using i'm actually using trader edge so now let's move on to the strategy itself before we take a look at this example there are three things that we need to know and these are the three confluences for this trade the first confluence being it has to be during the New York session. So you're only going to take this trade during the New York session. And the second confluence is that we need a breaker structure or an indication that price is either breaking down or breaking to the upside. So a breaker structure or price indicating it wants to move in your chosen direction. And finally, the third confluence is we need a fair value gap to enter from. So now that we've gone over the three confluences, let's go ahead and take a look at this example. Looking at this example, let's have a look at the Asian session and the London session. We can see the Asian session is doing what it normally does, which is range, but then move ever so slightly to the upside. And then we have a nice London move to the upside as well. So we clearly know that the Asian session and the London session is moving up. Now what we are expecting at this point here, when we both have the Asian session and the London session in the same direction, we are expecting a New York reversal or a continuation. So let's see what we get so far. So at this point here, we can clearly see price is continuing so far on the New York session. So maybe we don't get that reversal trade that we're looking for. And okay, so at this point here, we look like we're continuing. Now, if we don't respect this area here in the next few candles, then we will be looking. Yeah, so it looks like we are going to break down from here. Yeah, so this price section over here gives us a very good indication that price is breaking down. So what we can do at this point here is we can start looking for fair value gaps. So we are in the New York session. We can see that price is breaking down. And now what we've got to do is look for a fair value gap. So on the five minute time frame, we don't see that. But if we drop down time frame by time frame, what we want to do is we want to find a fair value gap, even if it's the smallest one. And everything here looks very efficient. Drop down to the two minute. What do we have here? Again, everything looks very good. And then on the one minute, let's see what we have. We actually have a very, very slight fair value gap just here. So if I just show you, I'm actually going to highlight this fair value gap because this is where we will be entering the trade from. So if I just push this out and extend it to the right a bit more. So that's where we're going to enter the trade from. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trade here and then stop right at that candle high. And then we're going to be targeting, so we'll go back to the five minute time frame. We're actually going to be targeting the low of the New York session only because it's a nice distance and it's near enough a one to five as well. All that's left now is to play. Oh, that was quite quick. As you can see, we get tapped in very nicely. Price goes and marks that inefficient price action efficient now by covering the fair value gap. And we are moving very nicely down to our target. And without a doubt, that target gets smashed very quickly. So this is a very good example of this trade in a selling point of view. Now let's have a look at it in a buying point of view. So this is a buying example for a buying trade. As we can see, we got the Asian session that moves up first and then London session moves down. Ideally, we're going to take them as both of them moving down and we got that nice London move here. So if I just play price action, we wanna see again, some sort of consolidation during New York session and then an indication that we are actually reversing uh, the move from both Asia and the London session. So if I just move and play price action, we can see we're moving away and clearly here at this point from this push here, we are actually breaking structure. We break these structural points here and looks like we continue to push up as well. So we've broken this structural point, this structural point. So we're clearly breaking a lot of structural points here. And now 
what we want to be doing at this point is we're going to be looking for fair value gaps from the initial breaker structure okay so if i drop down to the three minute here we can see we have a very clear fair value gap over here so if i just highlight that to this wick low so that's the remaining fair value gap that hasn't been marked efficiently yet so that's where we're going to put our entry so stops are going to be just below these two red candles so i'm just gonna put it there and then i'm going to be targeting the london high so moving back to the five minute time frame and let's play okay tapped in very nicely there and again double tap so let's move this out a bit more now we're just waiting for price to either tap us out of our tp or by this point in time from your trade management you probably have a trailing stop anyway but let's see okay nice we're probably taking out this point and there we go we're taking out a trade very nicely with a 7.62 risk to reward trade which is really good the sponsor for today's video is vantage fx they are my personal broker and i've been using them since 2018 they are reliable and they aren't like other brokers that constantly send you emails or try and call you they are fca regulated as well which is a good thing and they do offer a trading account with raw ecn spread which is always good as well especially for those of you that trade smc so if you are looking for a broker for personal account definitely check them out the link is in my description below so as you can see this strategy is a very good strategy it works really well it goes hand in hand with my new york session reversal strategy that is on my channel somewhere that i made about a year ago this is a very different one because i'm not entering off of order blocks we're entering off of fair value gaps and as you can see it works really well still to this day so if you watched this far thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video